Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 22 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. So today's episode has some really, really interesting RNG. So I'm finally able to use my uh, Captain Spa as you can see, but like, oh, this just does not look that good, you know, with the rune legs. I, I really need the legs at least to match. So yeah, man, let's just rock this setup, you know, for now though. Oh shit, nice. 73 magic, guys. I was training at Dust Devils a little earlier, got myself a bit of money, but yeah, that helped me to get to 73 magic, so pretty cool. Definitely need to get all these stats as high as possible alongside my melee stats, so Barrels is a nice way to do that. Alright guys, last chest of the knights. Oh my god, that's crazy. Wait a minute, 7 Barrels items guys, holy shit. I'm getting an item every like 9 or so chest at the moment. Obviously, I can't keep this up for long. Like, I'm probably going to start getting uh, some drag streaks. I'm still looking for the tank legs and helmet, so we're going to be doing barrels frequently until then. So I think it's about time to start working on some crafting again. So I, at this point in my bank, have 2,000 plus bucket of sand already, thanks to Bert. So all I got to do is collect the soda ashes, and yeah, we're good. Basically, I should be able to get myself close to uh, high 50s, and then I can boost to make the blue dragon vampresses so yeah i've been getting a lot of these um lately for my heart clues and it's been the thing that's been stopping me so no more not this time so my plan is to get 1600 more soda ashes to match my bucket of sand so let's do it okay so i think this will be my last inventory of soda ash and yep i got over 2k now so this is gonna be great so guys, I am halfway done with my crafting supplies and I'm now at 55 crafting so now I can cut Dragonstone and make myself a Slayer Helmet. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock the Slayer Helm right now. Here we go guys. So that means I need to get around 500 points for the Herb Sack but that's cool, it's okay. I almost have 100 tasks completed coming up so that's gonna help a lot. Anyways, let's put this here. Oh, here we go. Nice. So the really nice thing about the Slayer Helm in addition to you know all the helmet perks that you get is like the nice plus three magic and range so this is a really good neutral helmet and it has really good defensive in every single stat even magic so yeah when you're like I guess maybe hybriding you might want to use this for certain hybriding situations and I also have 1600 mullen glass left so let's see how many crafting levels I can get out of that Yes! Alright, just hit 56 agility. So I still need 14 agility levels to go for 70 for my master clue. But yeah, I will stop here. I'm gonna work on it every now and then. And anyways, I'm gonna actually attempt to finish my elite clue scroll right now. Apparently, if you try to steal from this particular chest, right? This is has a special name, Old X chest. You can actually get the light bulb with the wire attached for this elite clue so that means no need for 70 plus thieving uh, no need for 80 plus crafting if you you know choose to craft it yourself this is true holy shit guys <laughs> wow seriously I feel bad for anybody that grinded like 70 plus thieving or 85 plus crafting just for this elite clue so I'm testing out this thing that I've been told about Dorgish Khan Sphere has a good chance apparently to uh take you to a place with broken lamps so far I've used three of them and it hasn't happened yet but let's just you know try this out some more oh yes it actually kinda did work I used nine Dorgishkan teleports and yeah it actually sent me to a broken lamp so that is awesome so I think this might be true I'm not sure I would definitely need to try it out a few more times Okay, Sherlock, you bitch. If you don't give me a freaking casket right now on this 10 step, I will be sad. So please, come on, baby. Oh, no. Here goes nothing, guys. Here goes nothing. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am completing this elite clue. Six. Camel, please give me the casket. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh my god, this is so exciting, guys. I can't believe I actually finished the uh, Elite Clue Scroll this early on. Here we go, guys. Badoodle! Ah, dang, guys. We didn't even get a unique item, but 
Holy hell, that is a lot of, you know, alcohols and whatnot. We just completed our first Elite Clue Scroll. Master Clue Scroll is next, eventually. Here we go, man. Tank Licks time. Oh my god, seriously? Holy shit. As soon as I finish my Elite Clue, I, I got another one. What? Okay, this looks good. This is a decent start. Ooh, I can start this, guys. Wow. What does this mean? What is Jagus trying to tell me? Am I the chosen one? I don't know. Okay, this is chest number two. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I am so done. Okay, I don't hate it, nor do I like it. It's just like, whatever at this point, okay? All right, that was a super quick and easy quest, guys. Slice of ham is done, so let's move on with the uh, potentially last step of this elite clue. What is he gonna give me? Oh, all right. Step number ten. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh my god! Oh man, that's insane. Today is totally my day, man. Today is absolutely my day. Is this it? Yes. Oh what? No, it's not a chest. Step number eleven. I burn between heroes and legends. Oh my god, dude. Somehow we're getting all the way to 11 steps, but I'm so glad. Can this please be the last step? Oh my god. <laughs> no. Yo, man. One man's heart cannot take this much. Here we go. Whoa, what is that? Coordinate? Not wilderness, not wilderness, not wilderness. <gasps> yes! Oh boy, man, what a crazy day it has been for the RuneScape grind, so uh, yeah, anyways, let's just open it up, here we go. Wow, for being able to do this Elite Clue 2 in one day, I will take this reward, I, I will take these rewards and out them. And feel like a champion, okay? I'm a champion because I did these elite clues, alright? Alright, last chest of the night. Here we go, guys. <laughs> two for X Bazards, okay? Two Guthans Play Bodies, okay? Two Varax Flails. I mean, that's cool, man. I'm, I'm getting mad Barrels items. Already three doubles, basically, though. Wow. That's crazy, man. Such a weird situation though, such a weird situation, like, the RNG is all over the place. The past week, I can tell you, man. So, I am back on the crafting grind at 57, so that means I just need 4 more to go. Anyways, I actually hit 1400 total, I saw that coming, so that was really good, awesome milestone. Here we go, guys, almost done with the crafting grind, but I do have a problem. I am short on supplies to uh, get the last one level, so I'm almost done with my gems as well cutting it, but I guess I'll try to turn them into jewelry, get some XP out of that. After a significant amount of crafting within uh, these two days, I have now reached the 61 crafting. So actually, that's Lunar Diplomacy requirement out of the way too, and uh, I just need the mining one, so I guess, yeah, we'll work on that and get that done soon. But also check this out guys, I have 6 crystal keys, well more like 7, I'm gonna open 6 of them. Made the ring and gotta do enchant and that's it. And the cool thing about this ring is that you can see all of your boss locks including barrel's chest so yeah, cool. What? Winter tots in there. Interesting but yeah, clean slate for the most part. I'm gonna be using the ring of wealth uh, mostly on easy slayer tasks because you know for riskier ones I definitely want a ring of life but yeah this will be a nice quality of life for me in terms of just being able to automatically pick up the coins and just maybe a better chance of getting some uh, rare drop table items as well. No idea what happened to my needle but I got it now. Just got the boost as well so yep. There we go. Blue Dehyde is here on the Ironman account. So now let's go ahead and uh, go to the wilderness and have some fun. It is that time of the day again guys to trek to the wilderness. Yawn. Oh, sweet. I didn't have to do any fighting. That's awesome. Alright. Sometimes it does that when the double agent doesn't spawn. But 
Yes. I am out, guys. And after all this hard work, it's time to reap the reward. Here we go. Ooh, wow. Nice. Ban those chaps. That was so worth. Oh, my God. That was so worth because now I have a, a better D high chap. Because, you know, all god D high chaps give a plus one prayer bonus. So that's really nice. Still got a ton of hard cool rewards that I would, you know, like to get. So I'm gonna obviously be doing some more hard clues, but hey, number five done, and we got so much benefit out of that. So hopefully by next week, I will be able to finish my barrel's goal of getting the tank legs and the helmet so that I can move on to something along the lines of Dagonoth Kings. So I'll definitely, you know, let you guys know more about the next plans once I get closer to that. And also, I want to bang out that 70 agility slowly working on that and yeah get that master clue done hopefully aside from that if you're new to the series and you want to stay up to date definitely subscribe to the channel that way you'll know exactly when the next video comes out you don't miss a thing and also if you enjoyed today's episode definitely give it a like as well we we'll really appreciate that anyways i hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days take care and bye bye